man on the moon. Houston, uh... Oh, jeez. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That was Walter Cronkite anchoring for CBS News when Apollo 11 landed on the moon. Today, we celebrate the 47th anniversary of that historic mission, the first human to set foot on the moon. Nine Your Size Max Darrow didn't have, the, have to search the universe to find out Tucson's role in the space race. That answer, right here at the University, Max. Well, absolutely. A big anniversary for America and really a special one here in Tucson as well. Did you know that Tucson actually played a very serious role in that Apollo 11 mission. I went to the National Observatory and found out why. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I lived and breathed it, and it was very largely responsible for the direction I took in my career. The Apollo 11 mission, first man on the moon on July 20th, 1969, and according to Bill Buckingham, largely possible because of research done right here in Tucson. One of the roles we played was to, in a sense, give them a roadmap to their destination, which was the Earth's moon. But why Tucson? We have lots of sunny days, which means we have many, many clear nights, 300 or so every year. So that we have the climate, we have the low humidity, we have mountaintops, to position telescopes on, make for good stable viewing conditions. This exhibit is called From Tucson to the Moon and it's designed to educate people about just how much a role Tucson played in this Apollo 11 mission and all of the other missions to come. It's at the Flandreau Planetarium and Executive Director Kelly Campbell explained why they opened this exhibit. We really wanted to showcase the University of Arizona's role in the space race, particularly to the moon. The University of Arizona played a huge part in that and it's one that we're really proud of. And probably we wouldn't be where we are today had it not been for the contribution of the University of Arizona. And if you're interested in learning more about Tucson's role in the Apollo 11 mission and the other space missions, check out the exhibit at the Planetarium. It's right on the University of Arizona campus, and it's open until 5 p.m. every day. Guys.